goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. And we are getting very close to time for kidding around here on our ranch. So we always have a birthing bucket prepared when that time is getting close, right by the door so we can grab it and be ready. Uh, so we'll just show you guys what it is that we put in our bucket. For starters, we have a lamb puller. Now a lamb puller, everybody should have, but it is simply something to assist if you are unable to, you know, if you do have to assist with the goat, obviously with the labor, when you go inside and you're not able to grab something to, to help pull out with just a hand, this is going to be a lifesaver, literally. Um, so you would just you know, position your hand, you're gonna put it in there, wrap it around some shoulders, back legs, front legs, anything you can get, and then you're gonna pull that tight, and this helps grab it, you know, grab the kid and pull it out. So this is um, something that we have found very helpful a time or two. Probios, probios, are live microorganisms that are just going to aid in any stressful situation. It's going to help the goat's rumen. Um, so this is something I give, again, in any stressful situation. And of course, labor is going to be one of those situations. So I keep this in the bucket. Jump start. This I use on the kids. It can also be used on adults. So it's kind of like probios with the live microorganisms except it also has uh, minerals and vitamins in it. So if I see a kid that's sluggish looking, or if I did have to assist, you know, and it was obviously that's pretty stressful as well, then I'm gonna give a kid this jump start. Selenium and vitamin E paste. Now, this is something, all of these things are something we have always for the herd, of course, but selenium would be um, you know, it's a mineral, and if they're lacking in selenium, if a kid is born and you see them really weak and they're not on their hooves, rather they're on their pasterns, they just can't get up and, and really stand strong on the feet, they're lacking in selenium. So literally within a couple hours of giving them selenium, you can tell a huge difference. So I always keep this around. Not something we encounter very often, um, literally just a couple times because I give it to the moms you know, they get it monthly, my herd does. So my does aren't lacking in selenium, but it can still happen in the kids from time to time. Revitalite. So we have packets of this. This is something we add to the water. It's literally Gatorade for, for goats. So it's gonna give them electrolytes. Um, again, labor can be pretty stressful. And if in any situation where um, they're just looking like they're not really bouncing back as well or as quickly as possible, just throw some in their water and, and mix it up for them because this, this really helps, gives them energy. Gloves and lots of them. Um, so these are very helpful. We always use a lot of them. So we have a bag of them, you know, clean gloves obviously and keep them tight in the bag. We also have long gloves. Um, these gloves go up to your shoulder, so if you are needing to get deep in there, if you will, then these are pretty good gloves to have also in a sterilized bag. You always got to have a hook. Um, obviously your, your goat is not going to just stand there for you. If you don't have anybody to help, especially you'll need a, a hook but your goat's not gonna stand there for you while you're trying to maneuver babies around. You know, it's, it's quite painful for them and they will try to run from you. So again, especially if you don't have anybody to help, having a hook to be able to, you know, tie them to, hook them to a fence or something to where they can't run from you, very beneficial. Let's see, 
Um, hand sanitizer. We do need to get some more of this. It's on the list, but obviously something good to have. Keep the germs down. OB lube. Now, you don't want to just go, go in dry if you have to assist. Obviously, that's going to be a lot more traumatic than if you have some of this on hand, and it just makes it a little bit easier on the go. I also keep this. Um, this is just a pair, it's a bag with a pair of sharp scissors um, and iodine. So iodine is going to, is something we use on the umbilical cords. So I do cut the newborn's umbilical cords to about an inch and you know, it's an open sore. So when they lay down in the dirt and a lot of times the moms don't cut them down short, you know, they'll try to eat them off, but a lot of times they're just hanging in the dirt even if they're standing there. So we like to, you know, cut them off. And then I'm gonna put iodine around the umbilical cord and on the umbilical cord. So obviously it works as um, an antibacterial, so, and it dries it out a lot quicker. So that way it isn't just like a wet, open wound when they do lay down in the dirt, because um, it can cause infection, and they can get joint ill, which is not fun to have. Towels. We have a large supply of old towels that we keep um, for birthing. Now, with the towels, what we do when the babies come out, we actually, I'm going to, as soon as the baby comes out, I'm going to clean that nose off to make sure that their nose is, is clear so that they can start breathing, you know, the face and the nose. Um, and then just the majority of it, pretty much a swipe. And then I'm going to give that mucked up kid, still very mucked up, to its mom. Um, that way she can continue to, to clean the baby off. This is not something, um, these items are not something I keep in the bucket, but always have at home on hand for any situation really. Um, so vitamin B, again if you have a goat that just didn't do real well in her labor, she's not looking like she's bouncing back very well, vitamin B. Um, it's going to up their appetite as well as give them just more energy and it, it's really, really good to have. And this is an antibiotic. So there's lots of different antibiotics that you can use, obviously. I like the Biomycin 200. Uh, it, is, it doesn't burn too bad for them, and it works really well. So I always use antibiotics last case scenario. It's not something I'm giving to my goats all the time. Um, it has to be needed. But when I go in, if I have to assist, um, you know, I want to make sure in case there is, as a precaution, in case there were any infection or anything like that, I don't want it to get a chance to start and grow. So I am gonna give them um, an antibiotic. So with that, because these are shots, of course, we have a large supply of syringes and needles as well. Sterilized, of course. Now this is just a portable baby crib. Um, we've used this so many times uh, and it's very nice to have. So the little babies, if you ever have to bring them in due to weather, due to temperature, due to the mom doesn't want them or something happened to the mom, anything like that, you know, obviously any reason you would need to bring the baby in, um, this pen has been really great for us. So these are good to have on hand and you can get them at garage sales and um, Craigslist, things like that as well. So you don't have to buy them brand new for an animal. All right, guys, so those are the items we keep in our birthing bucket. Uh, again, we just keep it by the door so that we're ready. Uh, you know, anytime we're getting close to kidding, this is always sitting there by the door. So make sure you guys are prepared. You don't want to be scrambling around looking for items that you may need when time hits, you know, if something does go wrong. I also want to mention to get a good vet's phone number and save it in your phone. If you do need a vet and, and their assistance, you want to know that you can call on them, that they know about goats, or they might even do emergency home visits, things like that. Uh, make sure you have a good YouTube channel you're subscribed to. Also, um, all of these items you'll be able to find in the description below. So there'll be Amazon links to, to these items if you do still need them. And happy kidding, guys. We'll see you soon.